In this lecture of the cardiovascular system, we're going to talk about blood flow through the heart and through the different circuits. Starting in the right atrium, oxygen-poor blood flows through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, blood passes through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk before branching off into the right left pulmonary arteries. From the pulmonary arteries, oxygen-poor blood enters the lungs where it becomes oxygenated. This oxygen-rich blood then returns back to the heart via the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. From the left atrium, oxygen-rich blood travels through the bicuspid or mitral valve and into the left ventricle. And then from the left ventricle, oxygen-rich blood travels through the aortic semilunar valve and into the aorta. Once in the aorta, oxygen-rich blood is distributed to the different systems and tissues of the body. At the level of the tissues, oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide. Oxygen-poor blood leaving the tissues now returns back to the heart. Oxygen-poor blood from the upper body returns back to the heart via the superior vena cava into the right atrium. Oxygen-poor blood from the lower body returns back to the heart via the inferior vena cava into the right atrium. And circulation will continue. Again, let's take a look at blood through through the heart and through the different systems and circuits, but this time using a flow map. So starting at the right atrium, blood passes through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. And from the right ventricle, oxygen-poor blood will travel through the pulmonary semilunar valve and into the pulmonary trunk. From the pulmonary trunk, oxygen-poor blood will branch off into the right and left pulmonary arteries and enter the lungs. In the lungs, oxygen-poor blood becomes oxygenated to become oxygen-rich blood. Oxygen-rich blood from the lungs returns back to the heart via the pulmonary veins. From the pulmonary veins, oxygen-rich blood enters the left atrium of the heart. From the left atrium, blood passes through the bicuspid valve and into the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, blood will pass through the aortic semilunar valve and into the aorta. From the aorta, oxygen-rich blood will be distributed to the body and to the different tissues of the different systems. At the level of the tissues is where gas exchange occurs, oxygen for carbon dioxide. This oxygen-poor blood must return back to the heart. Oxygen-poor blood from the upper body returns back to the heart via the superior vena cava and into the right atrium. Oxygen-poor blood from the lower body returns back to the heart via the inferior vena cava back into the right atrium and the circulation of blood will continue.